Hello everybody, this is Casual Free to Play Gaming. This series we're going to talk about a game called Rise of Kingdoms. It started out as a phone app game, but now you can download it for Windows and Apple products. So here's the website, www.riseofkingdoms.com. It's made by Lilith Games, so you can get it on your smartphones by Apple and Google. And you can also get it on your computers by Windows and Mac. You can also play it on your computer through phone app emulators like Bluestacks. So what is Rise of Kingdoms? To me, Rise of Kingdoms is a civilization building game which involves both war and support. What do I mean by war and support? In this game, depends on how you play, you will either start out in a new kingdom, you will help your alliances and the kingdom fight to the center so you guys can have a king of the kingdom. Once the kingdom is established, the king and or the council, depends on how the kingdom is set up, will establish rules for the kingdom to follow. Once the rules are established, then you will gather resources and train your troops and build your armies up to a thing called KVK, which is Kingdom vs. Kingdom. That is Kingdom vs. Kingdom Wars. So that is your war aspect of the game. Now when you hear a lot of people talk about this game, they say this is a war game. That is partially true, but it's not 100% correct. This is also a support game. The number one question that people ask me is, can free-to-play have fun and do well in an ocean of whales? I'm just going to tell you the truth. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm not going to beat around the bush. We're going directly for the kill. In all games that are paid to win, you cannot compete with the whales. Now, there are people that can, and when you see a bell curve, they're on the top end percent of the bell curve. Most people don't have the time or the knowledge to be a hardcore free-to-play player. So there are hardcore free-to-play players in this game who do very, very well with building their accounts, building their characters, and fighting in KVK. But they have to sacrifice a lot of time and they have to network very well. Most casual players do not do this. So this series is more for the casual free-to-play, not the hardcore free-to-play. Now, can you have fun? It depends on how you like to play games. In this game, as a casual free-to-play, you are support. Now, what does support mean? Support means that you farm resources to help give the resources to the fighters so they can continue fighting during the war. Support also means you're sending your troops in to die by filling rallies, by filling garrisons and flags, and by open field fighting as much as you can. Now, how well are you going to do in open field fighting? Have you ever seen the documentaries when whales open their mouth and they just suck in as much krill as they can? That is a pay to win versus a free to play casual. We are the krill. You're not going to be able to compete in open field fighting with somebody who has T5 troops, max tech, if you're in Season of Conquest, max crystals, best armor, and the experience and the knowledge of how to play the game. You're not going to compete. So we have to understand this and we have to change our mindset. So our mindset is to know that we are support. Our job is to gather resources to give to fighters. Our job is to send troops in to die. And our job is to be whale fodder. This game has elements for everybody. If you like to farm, Bill, that's fine. But you cannot just farm and hoard your resources. You have to give your resources out to the fighters during war. Or are you a person who likes to fight? The kingdom needs fighters. They need people to go out there and to snipe and harass the enemy. They need people to fill the flags and they need people to join the rallies. If you're a fighter, there's going to be a lot of action for you in KVK. Remember, you're free to play. You're not going to be the best of the best. We do not compete with the whales. We do not try to catch the whales. And we do not try to keep up with the Joneses. How we succeed is we have to use time management. We have to use resource management. And we have to use certain practices to be able to compete at a higher level. So with that being said, here on the page of Rise of Kingdom, strategy lives here. There is strategy for war. And there is strategy for building your troops, building your kingdoms, and doing the most you can do using the less resources and the less speed ups and using less materials that you can. It's a strategy management game. So within this series, we're going to answer some questions like what kind of player are you? What do you look for in a game? If you're a warrior, there's a home for you. If you are a support, there's a home for you. If you're a solo grinder and you just like to come in and play and just do your own thing and not help the kingdom or not help anybody, there's a home for you. But this is a civilization building game. You can do it, but you're just not going to get everything out of the game that the game provides. Next question we have is, do you have one device? Do you play on a phone or a tablet or a computer? Do you have two devices? Do you have like an iPhone and a computer or a Samsung and a computer? Or do you just have a computer, but you have a simulator like BlueStacks, which will help you run multiple accounts? This is all key to how you play in this game. 
All right, is this going to be your main account? Are you starting for the first time and this is going to be your main account? This is going to be different than if you already have a main account, but you want a second fighter account. If you already have a main account and you want farm accounts. Also, what kind of kingdom do you want to start in? Do you want to start into a new kingdom where everybody's fresh? The whales are going to use their money to boost up. Everybody's going to join alliances. Alliances are going to fight. They're going to fight to the center. Whoever wins the middle is the king. And the king or the council establish the rules. And you can be a part of that. And then you can go through KVK1, KVK2, KVK3, all the way up to Season of Conquest, where you're getting the full enjoyment of the game. And then this time you can really build up your troops and stuff. Or do you want to join an older kingdom, which is already established, or they already have the rules, and you can just go in and you can join a very powerful kingdom at a low level, and it's going to take you years to be able to catch up. And we're going to show you how to do that too. So either way, how you want to play, if you want to get in and you want to fight all the way to the top and then continue from the beginning, which you're going to get a lot of content, or if you want to start in an older kingdom where everything's established, and then you can help from there, we're going to show you how to do that. Are you playing with friends, or do you want to make new friends? If you're playing with friends, that's great. If you want to make new friends that's also great because there are a lot of people who have the same interest in you and you can make friends you have to be kind respectful and just have fun now the key to having fun and rise of kingdoms is you have to have a lot of patience you are not going to get from point a to point b in a day in the next video we're going to talk about rise of kingdoms we're also going to talk about the different civilizations and how you play the game and how to choose your first steps so i hope this is helpful and like i said if you go to riseofkingdoms.com you can join the app store or you can make a computer account and start playing today I've been playing for a few years and I still enjoy it. You have to keep one thing in mind. This is your game. You play it the way you want to play it and you have fun. Now, there are certain things when you're in a kingdom that you should do to help your kingdom and to help the people around you. That's just a given in any game when it's a multiplayer game. But like I said, if you're kind and respectful, if you help out with resources, if you help the Alliance out on special events, and if you help out in war, you're going to have fun, you're going to make friends, and you're going to grow. All right, let's get into the next video.